Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing 15 more air fryer recipes with you all. I have done a couple of videos just like this one and you guys really, really enjoyed them. So I wanted to do another one for you. I'm going to link the other videos I have done down below in my description box. So if you want to have a look at them after watching this video, then go and check them out. I have also got so many more recipes up here in my head that I want to share with you guys. So to make sure you don't miss the next video like this make sure you hit that subscribe button down below also on my instagram i post loads of different foodie content too so if you want some more meal inspiration then i would love for you to go and follow me over there too so i have got the pro scenic air fryer it's a 5.5 liter air fryer and it's absolutely amazing it's got quite a few pre settings on there so when it comes to cooking different meats and fish and vegetables it takes the guesswork right out of the temperatures and the timings that you need to cook them all on but I know some air fryers don't have these pre settings so when I share my recipes with you in this video I'll be mentioning all the different times and temperatures that I will be cooking everything on air fryers are such great ways to cook your food not only does it cut your cooking time down so much but it also makes your food come out just tasting absolutely amazing it makes your food crispy whilst also nice and juicy at the same time they are also so easy to clean what I do is I remove the basket from the air fryer and it has two baskets within one I will then lift the inner basket out of the outer basket and I will just get a bit of kitchen towel and remove any excess fats and crumbs that have come off my food before washing it under some warm water I will then lightly clean out the two trays because it's got a Teflon coating it's all non-stick so the left on food comes off really really easily the great thing about an air fryer is the baskets are also completely dishwasher safe as well once I have cleaned the two baskets out I just will towel dry them pop them back together and put them straight back into my air fryer so with all that said I'm just going to jump straight on into this video I really hope you enjoy it please give me a thumbs up if you do so I know that you did enjoy it and so I can make more videos just like this so let's get into recipe number one <laughs> For this recipe, you're going to need some chorizo. I've got four cloves of garlic, one diced up onion, and then I've got two tins of these mixed beans. These are in a spicy tomato sauce and have so much flavor in here, they're delicious. Um, I have also got one tin of chopped tomatoes and you're going to want some eggs as well. So what I'm going to start off by doing is getting my chorizo nice and crispy first. So I'm gonna pop that into this dish of the air fryer. This comes in that accessory kit for the air fryer and it's a great accessory to cook so many different recipes in here so I'm going to pop my chorizo into this air fryer dish and cook it on 204 degrees centigrade for five minutes this is just going to really crispen up your chorizo and let off all the nice oils that come off it don't get rid of any of the oils that do come off it once the five minutes is up you're then ready to add in your diced up onion and your crushed garlic along with both tins of your mixed beans chopped tomatoes and some salt and pepper as well give everything a really good mix together so that all those yummy flavors are nice and combined and then you want to put this back into your air fryer on 204 degrees centigrade again for 18 minutes and i just also stir this halfway through as well after your 18 minutes is up you then want to just stir it one more time before cracking in your eggs I'm just going to add two eggs into here today and then I'll put it back into my air fryer on 204 degrees centigrade for five minutes. Once the five minutes is up, it then comes out of your air fryer, super tasty and delicious and perfect with a piece of crusty toast dipped into it. Right, so I'm going to make some southern chicken now. So what I have got in this bowl here is I've got some of these crackers, these are like Ritz crackers, and I've just crumbled them up so that they're gonna be almost like a breadcrumb. Um, some of the bits, as you can see, is a bit bigger, but I think that's quite nice to have a bit of texture to your chicken. So what else I've got in here is some salt and pepper. I've got some cumin, I've got some garlic granules, some paprika, and some sage. So when I do come to coating the chicken, it's got all of those really delicious flavors in the breadcrumbs and then I have just beaten up two eggs in here so what I will do is I'll pop my chicken as you can see I've got quite thin pieces of chicken so I'll put them into the egg and then I'll put them into the cracker mix to give it a nice coating as my chicken is quite thin I'm going to put it into the air fryer on 204 degrees centigrade 
for 10 minutes. Like I said, because my chicken is quite thin, it's going to cook quite a lot quicker than normal chicken. So 10 minutes at 204 degrees centigrade is perfect. And as you can see, it comes out looking so nice and crispy. So for another chicken net dish, I'm going to be making some chicken coated in Dorito crisp. So Dorito chicken. So what I've got for this is some mini chicken breast fillets. And I've also got some cheesy Doritos. So what I'm going to do is crush these Doritos up so they're really nice and small. So they're going to act as the breadcrumbs. I'm then going to get each piece of the mini chicken fillets and coat them really well with the cheesy Doritos. I'll then just put them into the air fryer on 182 degrees degrees centigrade for 15 minutes and as you can see they come out so so nice and crispy this is just a really great alternative to using breadcrumbs and because I'm using cheesy Doritos they've got a nice little cheesy flavor too for these sausage rolls they are so easy to make I've bought some chipolata sausages here and some puff pastry as well so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to leave the chipolata sausages completely whole and then I'm going to cut long slices into the puff pastry once I've done that I'll get the puff pastry and I'll wrap it around each chipolata sausage and then I will either get a beaten up egg or some milk and just brush that over the top of the puff pastry on the sausages this is just going to give it a really nice golden color you can also add some sesame me seeds on top of here just for decor really. I'm then going to put these sausage rolls into my air fryer on 204 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes and when they come out of the air fryer they're the perfect lunchtime snack or even something to put in your kids lunch boxes when they go to school. Next we're going to make some honey and mustard salmon. So what we're going to first of all do is take the salmon out of the packaging and then I'm going to marinate it in the honey and mustard dressing. So I just add one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, two teaspoons of honey and I'll also juice the whole of this lime into the marinade along with two tablespoons of olive oil, some salt and pepper and I'll chop up this basil nice and finely to go into the marinade as well. I will then pop my salmon fillets into the marinade for a good 10 to 15 minutes before I want to cook it. If you can leave it in the marinade for longer then that is perfect. Overnight is actually really really good so all those nice flavours are getting right into the salmon. I'm then going to put the salmon into the air fryer on 204 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes. That's going to come out perfectly done with the skin deliciously crispy too. So to make your falafels you're going to want two tins of chickpeas, some flour, I've got some sesame seeds here, I've got, I'm going to use three cloves of garlic, and I've got some coriander, paprika, cumin, and some lemon juice here as well. And then over here, I'm going to make a sauce for them to go with. So I'm going to use some yogurt, some tahini, some um, olive oil, and then I'm also going to use some more of this lemon juice as well. So I'll start off by making my falafels. All of these ingredients here, I'm just going to chuck them into my food processor and then just keep on pulsing the ingredients until they come together and you can form balls out of them. Once you have formed your balls you can then put them into your air fryer on 200 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes halfway through I do just like to give them a little mix around you don't have to as the air does get completely underneath them as well but I always just do just in case um, while those are cooking I will be making up my tahini sauce so I'll mix together my yogurt my tahini my olive oil and my lemon juice as well as a little bit of salt and pepper as well and then after your air fryer has finished your falafels are ready to eat you can serve this with salad or pita bread or they can just be as a little starter dipped in the dip so what I've got for these egg muffins is some ham, some cheese, I've got some mixed herbs here, I've obviously got some eggs and I've got some salt and pepper as well. The great thing about these egg muffins is you can literally put anything you like in here. You can put salami, you can put mushrooms, you can put spinach, whatever you want. So if you want them to be vegetarian then it's really really easy to just take out some of the ingredients. So what I'm going to start off by doing is just getting my eggs and cracking them into my measuring jug. I'm going to probably put in a good 12 eggs. I'm then going to add in my um, ham as well as my cheese and one teaspoon of mixed herbs and then I'm going to season it really well with some salt and pepper. I'm just going to mix everything together to combine it really well and I'm then going to pour the mixture into these little silicon cupcake holders. 
I'm then going to put them into my air fryer and put them onto the cupcake setting, which is 182 degrees centigrade for 12 minutes. After 12 minutes, as you can see, they come out perfectly cooked and ready to eat. These go down so well with kids in their lunch boxes or just for a lunch at home, or if you want a little snack during the day too. So for the halloumi fries, I have obviously got some halloumi. Halloumi is a Greek cheese, often known as squeaky cheese. It's absolutely delicious. It doesn't melt when you cook it. It more just softens in the middle so you can pick it up with your hands and it's just amazing. So I have sliced my halloumi um, into little slices like that. And as you do that, you'll see it kind of naturally breaks in half, which is the perfect kind of size for a chip fry size and then I have got one beaten up egg here and I've got some breadcrumbs here you can make your own or you can use shop bought ones I've just got these golden breadcrumbs um, because it just makes the whole process so much quicker so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get each piece of halloumi I'm going to dunk it into the beaten up egg and then I'm going to transfer it into the breadcrumbs and make sure it's nicely coated in the breadcrumbs before popping it into my air fryer I will put it into my air fryer on 182 degrees for eight minutes and as you can see it comes out perfectly golden brown and absolutely delicious to eat. So for these fish cakes they are super easy. I've just made up some mash here. This is actually leftovers from our sausage and mash yesterday. So I've got that. So in here it's already seasoned. I've put some butter in here and some um, milk to mash it all together. And obviously, like I said, salt and pepper as well. So what I'm going to add to this is um, two cans of red salmon. You can do this with any tinned fish you like, or you can actually cook up um, fish fillets and then just break them up yourself. But I just use tinned fish. So I've got salmon today, but I also make these with tuna as well. And then the herbs I'm going to use with the salmon is dill. If I was using um, tuna, I would be using mixed herbs. And then I have also got some breadcrumbs as well. So what I'm going to do is in a large bowl, I'm going to mix together my drained salmon and my potato along with two teaspoons of dill as well. I'm going to shape them into some fish cake shapes and then I'm just going to roll them in the breadcrumbs. You can add a layer of egg first, you can beat up an egg and then you can um, put your fish cake in there and then into the breadcrumbs so more stick to the fish cake. But I'm just going to go super easy with this and I'm just gonna go straight into the breadcrumbs. Then because everything in this recipe is cooked already, you only need to heat it through. I'm going to put them into my air fryer on a 204 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes. And as you can see, they come out lovely and golden brown and piping hot in the middle and ready to eat. For these beef fajitas, I have made myself a little marinade. So what I've put in here is some soy sauce, some sweet chili sauce, some sesame oil, and I put half a teaspoon of flour in there as well, just to thicken the um, mixture up, as well as four cloves of garlic. And then what I've done here is I've cut up a red pepper and a yellow pepper and a red onion. And then I've also got some beef stir fry strips. So what I'm going to do is put my beef and my veggies into my marinade and I just mix everything around to make sure they're fully coated with all of the sauce. I'm then just going to leave this in the fridge. Like you can do this the night before and then leave it in your fridge overnight. But um, even if you can just leave it in the marinade for like 15 minutes, then it just really does get into your meat and to your veggies. Once I've left it to marinate, I'm just going to mix it all around one more time to make sure that the veggies and the beef is picking up as much marinade as possible. I'm then going to transfer it into the air fryer and put it on 188 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, they're then ready to take out and pop into your wraps and enjoy. So to make your wrap crisps, I have got here some wraps. I've got two plain ones. These are just leftover wraps that I've got. So I've got two plains and then I've got four wholemeal wraps as well. And then I've also got some olive oil, some paprika and some salt as well. You can put any flavorings on here that you like 
or you can just leave it plain whatever you want to do with it so what I'm going to do is just cut the wraps in half and then I'm going to cut each half into little sections so they don't really come out exactly looking like Doritos or anything like that because obviously some are triangular shape but some are just all different other shapes as well once you have all your cut up wraps in your air fryer you then just want to put a little bit of olive oil on them not too much because it's just basically to let the paprika and salt stick to it and then you want to just coat them with some paprika and a grind or so of salt give it all a mix around with a spoon and then pop them into your air fryer on 182 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes and then when they come out they are really nicely toasted and they are perfect for dipping into some hummus or tzatziki or whatever you've got to dip them into so for these samosas, what I have done so far is I've just sauteed off an onion, three cloves of garlic, some thyme, and I've also then just added in my feta cheese and broken it up and mixed it together with my onions and just cooked it off for a little bit so my feta gets a little bit sort of softer. And then I have got some phyllo pastry here as well. So what I'm going to do really simply is cut my phyllo pastry in half, but I'm going to do it diagonally so that I can get my samosa shape. And then I will just spoon some of my onion and feta mixture into the center of my triangle phyllo pastry and then I will wrap it up into a samosa shape. I don't think I'm doing this very well to be honest with you but um, you get the gist. They all taste the same no matter what shape they come out to. Once I've wrapped up all of my phyllo pastry bundles I will then get an egg and I will beat it up. Once it's beaten up I will get a brush and I will brush the egg onto all sides of my phyllo pastry. This is just going to make sure it gets really nice and golden brown when it's in the air fryer. I'll then pop it into my air fryer on 204 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes and when they come out they smell absolutely amazing but they are also so nice and crunchy and crispy and just delicious you can do this with any filling you want you can do lamb you can do beef it works exactly the same way with each one i just par cook it first of all and then pop them into the air fryer for the same amount of time <laughs> For this sharing bread, I've already made my bread dough. So how I've made this is I have used 250 grams of this strong bread flour. I've put in a pinch of salt. I have also used one of these sachets of fast action drying yeast. In the UK, they come like this. You get a pack of eight and this is two sachets. So I've just used one of these for this. And then I also mixed in 150 mils of warm water and some olive oil as well and then I've just kneaded it all together. I'm not going to leave this to proof because I'm just going to literally cook it straight away because my bread doesn't have to rise like loads for this recipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll out my bread and then I'm going to keep the centre bit um, flat enough and big enough to fit my camembert cheese in. I'm then just going to pinch around the edges of my dough making little balls and these are the balls that are going to be used as the pull apart bits that people are then going to dunk into the camembert. Once I form my shape, I'll then pop it into the air fryer on 182 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes. This will cook the bread to a certain point, and it's at this point that I will then drop in my camembert as well. I like to put some rosemary into my camembert when cooking it. I then will put this back into the air fryer on 182 degrees for another 10 minutes. This will make sure the bread is cooked to perfection, and it will also make sure your camembert comes out lovely and gooey and ready for dipping. To serve, I also like to just put a dollop of cranberry jelly in the center of my camembert as well. And then as you can see, just tear one ball of your bread off and generously dunk it into your camembert. Okay, so for these zucchini fries, or as we would call it in the UK, courgette fries, I have got one courgette here and I've just cut it up into kind of like finger size strips that would kind of resemble a um, chip. And then I have got one egg here, which I have beaten up in one bowl. And in this other bowl, I have got some breadcrumbs as well that I have put some salt and pepper into. So what I'm going to start off by doing is getting each of my fries and I'm going to put them into my egg and coat them in the egg really, really well. Once they are nicely coated, 
coated, I'll then transfer them into my breadcrumb mix and make sure each fry is coated really well with the breadcrumbs as well. Once I have coated all of the fries, I'll put them into my air fryer and I will set them on 204 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes. This is going to give the outside of your courgette a really nice crunch while having the middle bit a little bit softer. These courgette fries are just a really, really nice alternative to something other than potato. Right, so here we're going to make some sweet treats. This is going to make two different kinds of sweet treats using this short crust pastry. So I just need to roll this out and make it nice and thin, probably about three mil or so thick. And then I'm going to cut and lay some of the pastry into these two molds. So these molds I got as part of an accessory kit for the air fryer. I'll link these down below so you can see. You get loads of different accessories in the kit and it means you can just make so many more things in your air fryer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one big tart in here which is going to be a Nutella like chocolate tart. So for that I'm going to put my short crust pastry into here and I'm going to prick the base with a fork. I'm then going to put it into my air fryer for 10 minutes on 182 degrees centigrade. That's just going to bake through the bottom of my tart and it's going to make sure that my short crust pastry is nice and cooked. Once that's cooked and cooled down, I will then mix together some Nutella and Philadelphia. I'll do 50-50 parts of these two and then I will just spoon it into my pastry and pop it into the fridge for an hour to cool down. That's literally your dessert done. It's the most delicious dessert and as you can see, it's so, so easy as well. For my second dessert, I'm going to use these cupcake molds. So what I'm going to do is with my short crust pastry is I'll just put some of the pastry in each of the molds and just like I did with the other pastry, I'll blind bake that on 182 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes is up, I'm then just going to spoon in some of the strawberry jam and I will sprinkle some desiccated coconut on top of the jam and I'll just put them back into the air fryer on 182 degrees centigrade again for a further six minutes. So this is just going to warm the jam up, cook the pastry through a little bit more and make these really, really yummy warm desserts. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me over on Instagram as well. And I will see you guys again in the next one. Bye.